What is up you guys? We're back for another morning commute on the Street Fighter. Let's get into it. Sorry neighbors. Oh, you fricker. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another morning commute. It's a little chilly morning, but this afternoon it's supposed to be almost 70 degrees, so it'll definitely be worth it. Today we're going to be talking about practicality of this and, you know, if it's the best choice whenever commuting to work and back. The first thing we're going to have to do is uh, get gas because uh, not very practical in that regard. I think I can get uh, about 100 miles on the tank when I'm, you know, putzing around. If I'm flooring it, more like 60 to 80 miles per tank. And for me, um, as I said in my last commute video, which by the way you guys really loved, so that's why I'm continuing to do this. So if you like it, drop a like. It really helps. But anyway, the reason that this stinks is because my commute is about 35 miles. So you could figure I would be filling up pretty much every day if I took this to work. And for me, even though it gets, you know, 27 to 28 miles per gallon, it's still not um, as efficient as my car that I daily. So I daily a, uh, a Model 3 and obviously that's probably the one car that is way more efficient than this thing. Um, I mean granted there are cars that get like 40 miles per gallon but it's like significantly more efficient than this. So when I take this to work it's more of a treat. Um, so as for practical daily, I wouldn't say this is a daily. It's more of like a, a treat whenever you get to bring it into work. Let's get some gas. Three as always. All right. Yeah, I recorded a video yesterday on my commute into work, and I came back to edit it and found out there was no sound. So, that was great. But again, I love commuting with this thing, so it's not a big deal. It says it is 39 degrees right now, so a little chilly, but nothing I haven't already endured. We're all filled up and ready to rip. But since it's so cold out, that's the problem. I don't really wanna rip on the highway very much. Realistically, cruising, this thing is fine. But again, practicality-wise, if you have any adverse weather whatsoever, this is not a good idea. I mean, you are fully exposed. You can get windscreens for this, but I mean, unless you're tucked, they're really not gonna give you that much protection. It'd be better suited to have like a, more of an adventure bike, almost like a, like a Multistrada. I feel like a Multistrada V4 would be a great option for people if they just wanna rack up the miles on this thing. Because another thing to take into consideration is the maintenance on these. You know, the Multistrada does not have the Desmo valve system. So the service intervals are much longer than what these are. I think they're like double, if not more. So that also makes a giant difference for um, what to take into account whenever looking for something to commute on. Now for me, I was more so looking at something that had like maximum performance. So, you know, shame on me, but this is what I deal with now in the mornings. Again, it'll be worth it for the afternoon, but man, is it cold right now. Let's see what it went down to. Okay, it's still at 39. It feels colder. I got the little ice warning, so we're up to 4,634 miles on this thing. And knock on wood, it's been extremely reliable. I got it at 600 miles, or a little over. So this thing's been been great so far. I've already done one oil change, as you guys saw, failed at it. But now I have this exhaust, it shouldn't be as uh, as terrible next time. Again, other than my legs and my neck, I'm okay. It's mostly just preparing for the ride, because that's why this thing isn't the greatest, because realistically, if it was a more of a touring-esque bike, I wouldn't even have to worry about my neck. I would have a big windscreen that I could put up, but 
hey, it is what it is. Not a big deal. And we're going to be taking back roads the whole way in so that I don't have to endure this cold the whole time. I was kind of bummed that the audio didn't work yesterday because we saw a helicopter um, take off right near my um, hometown. I'll cut to that here. As you can see, we missed a couple things and I was really bummed about the audio, but it's okay. We got today, today's a new day. It's supposed to be even warmer today, so. It's just as chilly this morning, so that's not really fun, but now we can enjoy the roads. Third gear. Woo! It's like a pogo stick. Like up and up and up. have to watch for rocks on this section. They like to fall down from the ledge up there. Woo! I'm gonna cruise like this so my neck doesn't get as cold. Holy cow. I wonder how much a little windscreen would help actually. I wonder if it would deflect it into my face? Because then at that point that's not a big deal. I'm also super bummed because I got this new helmet and uh, I was coming out of the garage to make my intro and I nailed it on the garage door, so it probably has a huge scuff on it, so I'm kind of kind of angry about that. It doesn't help, I just filled up, so my whole tank is full of freezing cold gas, so I'm hugging it and it's not helping. But in terms of practicality, this thing can maneuver extremely well, it can obviously have the power to get up and go when you need it, but is this something you want to actually commute with? Not really. I mean, it is very versatile, but due to its gas mileage and really the, the maintenance intervals on it, plus the tires you have, they're not meant for longevity. Um, it can become real expensive real quick. Is it super enjoyable? Oh my God, yeah. Can you commute on it occasionally and have fun? Oh my God, yeah. But for me, just not. it's not an everyday sort of thing, especially with this weather. If I was in Florida, maybe I'd be talking about something different, but right now in this weather, I'm good. Hopefully the summertime brings nice warm weather, so I can make a ton more of these videos. Because for some reason, you guys love the commute video. I figured I was trying some other stuff, and I appreciate everybody's support that stuck around, but the commute video is what got the most, most amount of traction. So you know what? I'm giving it a shot. We're doing it again. Feel free to drop a comment below on what topic you think I should cover on my next commute video. Because I'm going to obviously make this a thing if you guys like it. I aim to please. What a nice ride in. Again, my legs are cold. Other than that though, these gloves are awesome. Oh, I noticed that one's not on high. Okay. There you go. Also, these gloves make a huge difference. They're awesome. This is one of my favorite sections of the road. just bumps. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. It just pops up immediately. Good lord. I'm also open to other ideas if you guys want to see stuff. I know someone commented on the other video telling me they want a sound comparison between the Twin V4 and this. I'm definitely working on that. I'm going to have a full review video on the Aprilia coming out, but I have to get my external microphone tuned in because I have it almost right for riding around, but if I want to record sound externally, like people flying by, I'm going to have to see how that sounds. So these roads are gross right now because they're spreading, uh, spreading manure everywhere, so I can't wait to have that on my motorcycle. But again, cruising at, you know, speed limits. It's nice on cold mornings. It's not bad. I mean, again, <laughs> you get wind everywhere. But, I mean, the jacket I have on is a Joe Rocket touring jacket, and it's super warm. Any content creator can tell you, if you get back to edit stuff and you realize that one of your devices that is crucial to editing has either faulted or... Hey, they waved. 
see the Amish kids are great they're always super nice when I go by they always wave they're always excited so it's fun to interact we're not at the coldest part yet that'll be after we go through this little town here but again more Amish and I always try to be super quiet around the horses because I know they can handle some noise from cars but I mean this thing's really loud I appreciate you waiting. This is pretty much the coldest section. Oh, yep, 35 degrees. Okay. It's pretty much what yesterday was. So I'm hoping you like the new camera, the new editing structure. I mean, I have it so I'm cutting back and forth, get some variety on shots, as well as uh, lighting. Saw a comment that helped me out saying that I need to change the LUTs on it. I tried that. Actually helped a lot with... Uh, how the video looks. I honestly think if for a commuter, really any other, well, I can't say that. Only, okay, this is in a class with the Super Duke and maybe the MT-10 in a class where like, there's no protection for your body. You're gonna be really cold trying to commute. So there are other ones though, like Kevin's Tuono. That thing has pretty much fairing, uh, full fairings. It's I guess not full like the RS4, but it's it, you can tuck in and it has a windscreen. It has these side fairings that protect your legs from from the wind. It's pretty nice. So it's a big difference depending on uh, on what you're riding. Even the ZH2, I feel like you could have more protection from that thing because it's just massive. This is the one time I hope that we catch a red light because then the heat from this bike can at least warm me up. It'd be cool to have like a heated seat or like heated pants or something. I gotta look into that. That'd be cool. Because yeah, the tops of my legs, the wind just like shears right over them and it's frigid. Nice part is we're through the coldest part, so this part up here should be should be fine. Big tip, other than earplugs, which I did remember today. I did not remember them yesterday morning, but you guys wouldn't know that because there's no audio, so. I'm gonna dwell on that for the longest time. I, I hate that that happened. Like I could show you guys clips all day, but without audio of me talking, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it'd be really boring. Cause I did that all sound video and it's probably one of the worst performing, if not the worst performing video that I have. But I've noticed that if you don't put forth 100% effort into videos, you guys, notice every time so I'm commuting again today so that I can correct my issue yesterday you know I could have easily pieced together a video been like oh, okay here's like the sound of the motorcycle uh, for the first for the morning and then like I'll talk to you guys in the afternoon but it just doesn't doesn't show um, well for my channel you know what I mean like it's that would be me just putting something together just to get a video out I don't want to do that so Quality content is the only thing I want to put out from now on, regardless of how long it takes to edit and how long it takes to film, or in this case, refilm. Yes, red light. I love red lights now. Ah, oh, yes. Warm up my leg on the bike. Oh, it feels good. I'm not going to get much time. Now it felt good to stop for a little. A little pick me up. Back up to 37 degrees. So, real balmy here, you know? Oh, she sounds good. Sorry for the cutoff there. My GoPro froze whenever I got to the uh, intersection with the interstate on my way to work and didn't get to make a proper outro to let you guys know that I'd be back with you this afternoon. So sorry for the jump cut, but I'm here enjoying this awesome weather. Bike says it's 71 degrees right now, so it's it's loving it right now. You know, while this thing isn't necessarily the best for daily commuting, it's got the cool factor. It's got enough to make me want to take it all the days that I possibly can. So aside from the maintenance costs and all that stuff, this thing still makes me want to ride it every chance that I can get. It just sounds so good and maneuvers so well. Oh, I forgot my earplugs. Oh well, at least it's uh, not too long of a ride. It just changes direction so well. I love doing that. Golly! Oh my god! 
gosh. Nice part is this underpass. We can hear some good, uh, good sounds. We'll get you guys a good sound clip. Ready? This is two cylinders. I know you guys are asking for that. As much of an advocate as I am for using earplugs, trust me, please use them. God, this thing sounds so good without them. Like, don't get me wrong, it is obnoxiously loud on long rides. But something about not having earplugs in and being able to just listen to the raw, the bassy note, the the earplugs kind of block out, not just the wind noise, but they block out a lot of like the, I don't know, just the full tune of the exhaust. You can definitely still hear it, but it's not as uh, impactful, if I could say it like that. All right, we, we'll be able to get a little run in here. First gear's useless, but we'll still do it. It's like a crazy, crazy pogo stick. You bounce down, then you bounce right back up higher. They did not need to give it just as much power as the Pentagale has. But you know what? They did, and I am so happy they did. They said, screw you to all the other bike manufacturers making naked bikes that were detuned, didn't have the same internals. They literally just plopped it straight from the Pentagale. I don't care if it's rev happy, you know, uh, it might not make as much torque as the Tuono down low. I get it. But my goodness, what a freaking lively engine and bike. I'm said this a million times, but I'm thoroughly in love with this thing. I don't think I'm ever getting rid of it. That is ridiculous. guys so much for watching if you like what you see feel free to like and subscribe check out my other videos we'll catch you guys on the next one see ya